CIV, very much a working development vehicle. You've got the usual controls, you've got ignition, you've got fuel pump, and then we've got heater. That heater there is a fuel heater, should we require it. On the left, you've got the throttle, move the lead into a position, then we've got full throttle. On the other side, we have the pitch of the blades. We just move the prop forward and then back. The props basically, they all rotate. If you look, this is a bit like your gearbox on the car, okay? This, we are actually in like fifth gear. We move it to here, we're in about first. So we'd start off on about this pitch and as the speed increased, we'd then move the lever forward and we'd flatten out the blades, giving it coarser pitch. Lowers the engine revs, better fuel economy, um, less work, less work done by the engine. We've got a BMW engine here. Good, solid, reliable lump, and it revs to 7,250 RPM. We've got a supercharger unit, which basically compresses the air into the engine. The more air you can get into the engine, the more fuel you can burn. You can't do one without the other. We've got at the front is we've got the suspension, okay? It all moves via this pin here. This pivots just like a normal suspension. Uh, the arms go up and down, okay? All the load is taken by the shock. Inside the skis, you have torsion blocks, uh, big, big rubber blocks in other words, because the skis go up and down, they need some form of resistance and a little bit of lateral movement. And you need something just to take that out of the, out of the ski. The armour plating under is aluminium, riveted and bonded. Because any cracking, you'll lose components and they're going straight into the prop and we're going to get prop strike. Two side arms uh, do take a horrendous amount of load. Um, they're also aluminium, they're welded and they've been heat treated, x-rayed, they're about as flawless as you can get. As objects hit, hit the front of the ski, the load is transmitted this way. Suspension goes up, push rod goes in, and that acts against, again, the same as the front, a spring and dampener. We've got the brake unit at the bottom here. Now, on the snow, it's not particularly effective, but it's not really what we're worried about. It's actually one region of the pole where we have to go down an ice shelf, and uh, we need some way in stopping. And what this happens is it, this actually deploys downwards, and these are tungsten carbide spikes, and they are sharp, and they'll dig into the ice, and they just slow the machine. 